How did you think, feel like things went yesterday? Um, I think things went pretty well, um, given the circumstances of us only being together for a month. Um, I feel like we, we played hard. Uh, we had a couple of defensive mistakes, but uh, nothing we can't fix. Letting them get offensive rebounds, boxing out, um, maybe being up more on the screens with uh, Lillard, but that's about it. Nothing really drastic. Is that the main focus of practice? Uh, yeah, definitely. Defensive, defense is definitely a main focus of practice. Today. With the rebounding, um, what's the balance between guards and wings kind of leaking out, getting transition versus helping you guys down on the block with, with defensive boards? What do you mean, what's the balance? In terms of like, I guess, do you need those wings and guards to drop them down? Yeah, we do. Um, LeBron talked yesterday about building championship habits. What's sort of your role in that coming off the championship teams you've been on? Uh, helping building championship habits. How do you I guess do that? from a big man. Speak, yeah, from the from the center position, I guess, yeah. Because LeBron's doing it from his position, Doe's doing it from his position. I'm doing it from mine, so that's my role. Is there any sort of thing that you find yourself needing to straighten up for some of the young guys, or, or critique them about over and over? Or? Uh, just being able to pick your spots on when you need to block a shot or not. Um, I think I might have said this before, but I used to be a lot more athletic. I'm still athletic, but. I used to use my athleticism a lot, so it's definitely more cerebral now on block shots rather than just going at everything. You were pretty productive in about 20, 20 minutes. Uh, oh, my win was great. It felt great. You know, I felt like I had an iron lung out there. It was amazing. You went to the floor at one point. I got hit in the head, you know, and I, it was, I felt a little wobbly. I didn't want to run down the court looking wobbly and feeling and becoming a mean, so I decided to sit down. But my hair got my head got real clear, and uh, I was ready to play, so it was cool. What's that? Uh, uh huh. How much of that is technique on the court, and how much of that is stuff you do when you're winning? Uh, it's, I feel like it might be six percent what you do in your alone time rather than what you do on the court. Like, are you in the gym every day? Are you lifting every day? Are you eating the right things? Are you hydrating? Those things play key factors. Is your mind right? Is your Are you good at home? You know what I'm saying? Like, stuff like that really plays key factors in your performance. So being able to balance all those things <clears throat> is also a part of the championship mindset. What, what extent are the best sort of making sure the young guys are doing those things in their own time? Uh, we're not really making sure. It's more these young guys are focused. Uh, we see it. We get here. They're here before us. So, you know what I'm saying? So they, they know what, 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 what could happen this year if we all are on the same page. They get it. And uh, they're extremely focused also. I, I don't want to sit here and act like we're just teaching the young guys everything and they don't know anything. These young guys are very experienced and they, they, they work extremely hard. So we're just trying to fine tune for things, that's all. What is your take from Kendrick's message today? Uh, I don't know. I wasn't really expecting that question, so I'm not going to answer it. <laughs> you came from a place with a lot of established chemistry, you know, yeah. particularly the top, you know, of the, of the rotation, two places here, but it's a brand new team. What, what difference do you see? Uh, it's definitely a difference. Uh, in Golden State, they already have everything set, like it's a set plan. We're going to do this every time. Right now, we're trying to get there. So, it's definitely a difference. Uh, they've been doing it for four years. You know, they, 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 have, they have practices where they don't need to go over stuff because they already know it. You know what I'm saying? Plays and stuff like that. So, we still get used to the plays, everything. So. How would you describe the team chemistry in last night's matchup? And what do you think kind of needs to happen tomorrow? Uh, how would I describe the team Ask the question again. How would you describe the team Um, I feel like our chemistry was was good. Uh, I don't think we did we did that bad actually. I just feel like we had a couple of plays, maybe some stabs in the backcourt, and missed some 50-50 walls, offensive rebounds, and uh, we would have we probably would have won that game. Um, what was the second question? So going into tomorrow's matchup, kind of what things are you guys focusing on to 
Uh, we're really focusing on sticking to the game plan and just not messing up on the simple things. Um, it's a whole different team, and they play different, but they still have two prolific scorers. So we still have to make sure that we, we focus on the things that we're doing and, and, and the game plans that the coaches draw up. from your experiences, how challenging is it to play against Houston with their two guards and they have a long span as well? You play against how challenging them. is it? Yeah. It depends on what team you're playing on, I guess. <laughs> so, <Right. laughs> so when you were going to stay, how did you guys... Uh, I'm not saying I don't want to downplay Houston like it was easy playing with Golden State against them. It wasn't, but it was a it would be a lot easier if I was it, it would is a lot easier if if I was playing for a bad team. So, but I mean they're a great team, so we definitely have to have to focus and we can't have any slippage. Like we're, of course we're going to have some, but we have to limit it as much as possible.